Once again, Redbeard has grabbed a beer by the Nickelbrook Brewing Company. Pretty frickin' sure that it's going to be enjoyed a whole bunch this time. Ooh, what be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a bottle of Raspberry Uber Berliner Style Weiss by the Nickelbrook Brewing Company. It's Das People's Beer. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Um, yeah, this is a sour. I am 99.9% .9 sure this is a sour beer. So it's going to be loved. Let's crack her open. For today's glass. Let's see what we have got. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of fruitiness is going to happen in here, I think. Come on. Come on, glass. Don't be dumb. You'll fit. You're the bottle glass. You fit nicely. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those of you watching my videos. The beard loves you so very, 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 very much. This shit smells incredible. Like, I'm already getting insane with raspberry. That's all I can smell is raspberry. That is unbelievable. Like, it literally smells exactly the same as if you took, like, a handful of raspberries and just mushed them up. That, that pure raspberry smell. Amazing. Let's give her a shot. Sour. Wow. That is goddamn ridiculously tasty. No beer flavor whatsoever in there. Just raspberries. Like, holy shit. I think as far as just amazing, crazy flavors go, this might be like one of the best beers I've ever had in my life. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody! Mmm! <sighs> it's so sweet. And the raspberry flavor. It's not like a lot of those other beers you get where there's fruit in. Like the blueberry one I had by Broadhead. I think a Kolsch had some peach in it at one point. But yeah, those flavors are like really kind of muted and down near the bottom of the flavor palette kind of thing, if you want to try to understand what I'm trying to say. This, the raspberries are on top of everything. I, I can't even describe how incredibly amazing this is. Mmm. All of the amazing. Nickelbrook is definitely another one of those breweries that does a really, really good job of putting everything you could possibly want onto the bottle. Even right there, I think? Maybe? There's a date there. Something 16. Well, that is really hard to read, but there is a date. I, you wouldn't even have even noticed it. It's just the way the light caught it. Anyway, this stuff is... 3.8%, so you drink like a six-pack of those and have no problems at all. Recommended serving glass, goblet. That's kind of cool, because I just guessed. <laughs> our breweries decided to have some fun, and they took one of our most scientific creations and made it even more amazing. Nickelbrook Raspberry Uber Berliner Weiss uses our refreshing sour, sour style of wheat beer, which has then been aged on local Ontario raspberries. The result is a massive raspberry flavor explosion that still maintains the unique, the incredibly unique qualities of our Uber Berliner Weiss. You're going to love this. It's a scientific fact. Yeah, I do love it. I'd like to try the original that this is based on as well. 
Ingredients, water, malted wheat, malted barley, hops, yeast, raspberries. Brewer's elements. Malts are wheat, pilsner, hops are Syrian and Goldings, yeast is Bavarian and Weizen, fruit, Ontario raspberries. See that? Everything! And there is like even more kind of their address and shit like that's on here. Yeah. Good job, Nickelbrook Brewing. Nickelbrook is definitely one of those breweries that I have got to make a pro pilgrimage down south and visit. There's, there's them. Amsterdam is in Toronto down. There's a bunch of breweries in the Toronto area. And they will all be graced with my presence. Because that's an important thing or something. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Perfect hot summer day beer. Right here. So very perfect. Very, very, very nice level of carbonation in here as well. Helps the, like, the bubbles. I've said it before many times. I'm going to say it again. For me, at least... The bubbles on the tongue, especially with flavors like this, as the bubbles on your tongue are kind of popping, they kind of, for me at least, I, I, it feels like it releases more of the flavor, the higher carbonation level. Could just be me, but that's how I feel. This is probably the most perfect sour beer ever made. <laughs> Not that I've had that many. I've had a few, though. When I went down to Funk Fest, there was like 30 different beers available. Sour beers. And I didn't try them all, but I tried a lot of them. And nothing was as good as that. This is, this is as close to perfection as you can get with a fruit beer in my opinion. Today being July 22nd, on this date in 1933, aviator Wiley Post returned to Floyd Bennett Field in New York, New York, completing the first solo flight around the world in seven days, 18 hours, and 49 minutes. And then one year later on this day, outside Chicago's Biograph Theater, public enemy number one, John Dillinger, Dillinger? Dillinger, I think is what his name is pronounced as. He was shot, mortally wounded. He died. The Johnny Depp movie, I believe it was just called Public Enemies, based on that. And finally, in 1991, Jeffrey Dahmer was arrested in Milwaukee after police discover human remains in his apartment. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer was a little bit fucked up. Though at the same time, I've never tried human. Maybe we're delicious. Could be. No way we're as tasty as this beer, though. That's just not possible. Another very, very sad moment. Time to cure the Uber Raspberry Burninger Vice, or however the hell that is pronounced. Drink numbers at last! Oh! It's almost painful. But it's so good. So, Nickel Brook Brewing Company, your Raspberry Uber Berliner Weiss, whatever this stuff here is, rating, fucking 10. Yeah, I can't fault you on anything. It's perfect. I love it. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button with your face. Kapyaw, kapyaw, kapyaw. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! sure that there aren't any more sour beers at any of the stores in North Bay. It's kind of sad. Although Granville, I saw your Twitter post there. You got a sour beer. 
Gimme. Please.